for um, people to work together and particularly in sort of mid-career creative people sometimes don't get the opportunity to think outside their particular discipline so it's useful I think it's a great idea that they can have the opportunity to do that um, and I think also uh, certainly if you're in the built environment you you get to a stage where you're doing very serious stuff like things that are happening on site and sometimes you need to be given the opportunity to be creative and do some things which are outside of your comfort zone and that gives you a sort of an injection of creativity. This placemaking project is part of a bigger project that we're doing or a bigger initiative called Portfolio that explores put the idea of portfolio working because now so many makers and artists and designers won't just it's not just about the final thing they make they'll do lots of different things they have lots of different strands to their practice um, and what we're interested in is the the value that craft skills has and the impact that um, those skills that knowledge and that particular way of thinking can have on other sectors personal level I think collaboration is really important and it, it's something I'm really interested in and committed to. Just seeing what a group of people can do compared to the artist or the maker on their own, it was a real revelation. So for quite a long time now I've worked in a collaborative way myself. So. I don't think it's key to creativity, but I think it's key to a, a kind of a very interesting way of working and a very productive way of working. But it can go terribly wrong because I think one of the interesting things about this project is nobody has really kind of uh, surfaced any sort of antagonism or confrontations, which is you know fairly unnatural really when people are together you know and particularly kind of creative or inventive people you know there's inevitably going to be some kind of disagreements but this has gone phenomenally smoothly but I'm not saying that confrontation can't be creative as well but I've been surprised by how well everybody's got on and how smooth it's all gone. The value of collaborative working I mean it's something that it's collaborative speculative open-ended working it's something that we, we talk about endlessly to them and to, to give them the chance to do it for real with, with specialists from, from other areas. So I thought it was an opportunity we just, we just have had to grab. And some of the student reflections uh, this afternoon have kind of, uh, borne that out, um, actually seeing it in practice, how quickly uh, people from different disciplines can gel, you know, work, find common ground and work together is, um, is really interesting. For a lot of craft makers, um, they're interested in collaboration and they want to, but often the actual making process will be quite an isolating one. So the maker will often be on their own in the studio working away on um, a particular piece of work. And the collaborative process often might come in through the commissioner or um, the gallery rather than actually the creative dialogue it might more be in how the how the market works whereas this brings in the two the the idea of collaboration at a creative level um, and that's 
that's something that I think a lot of bankers really enjoy and, and really and thrive on because again it's looking at a different um, approach to materials or a different approach particularly here it's been to space. I think one of the possible enemies of, of creativity is the specialist. I think the, the people that exist in capsules and, the, and academic organisations are particularly guilty of that. You know, ivory towers. Um, anything that, that, be, that, that punctures those, those bubbles and allows cross-thinking, cross-disciplinary thinking, cross -thinking and that, you know, opens up a space where anything could happen. Um, is, is very, very important, very, very important. Certainly sometimes I think what happens is that artists and makers can be brought in at the end of a project rather than being at the sort of the, the, the very beginning and the very early stages to, to get involved in that creative process at the beginning. So rather than just being asked to sort of make a, an artefact or a piece of glass or a window or, you know, some... some something they can be very much part of the beginning of the process and, and, and again, that sort of injection of creativity can be really useful I think and really interesting so I think that's what we hope that comes out of this